Mom, I drew our family in school today. Oh, wow. Carrie drew two mommies. Homosexuals flaunt their conduct. We see it in their so-called gay marriage. She told me they're married to each other. Does the Bible comment on same-sex marriages? No. Satan's world now says that marriage can be between two men or two women. My teacher says that all that matters is that people love each other and that they're happy. Hmm. Well, people have their own ideas about what is right and wrong. In order to make sexual immorality appear more innocent, it's often euphemized. Sexual perversion, such as homosexuality, is called an alternative lifestyle. One so-called expert said, it's simply like being left-handed. We can be certain that promoting this corrupt view is Satan's attempts, part of Satan's attempt to ruin mankind, to make them so abhorrent to Jehovah that he would abandon humans and his purpose for mankind and the earth. This is a human rights issue. Hey, Mr. Dallas, she's like crazy religious. Hey, th there's nothing wrong with that. No, you don't understand. Jehovah's Witnesses hate everybody that isn't straight. That's not true. We don't hate anyone. Really? What matters is how Jehovah feels. What does Jehovah say about that? Jehovah tells us that homosexual acts are unrighteous. Homosexual acts are detestable, disgraceful sexual passion. Homosexual acts constitute disgraceful, obscene error. They're deserving of death. It's, it's hard for me to be told that be told that I'm evil, because I think of myself as someone who is filled with love, whose only purpose in life was to achieve love, and who feels love for so much of nature and the world and for everything else. In Iran, we don't have homosexuals like in your country. We don't have that in our country. We believe that everyone should be treated fairly. Good. So. I assume you have gay members in your church? Mm, no, we don't. In Iran, we do not have this phenomenon. I don't know who's told you that we have it. We might find that we have a war or a struggle inside us as we fight against the law of sin. Do you know how your children really feel about Jehovah's standards? You have two sons and a daughter. What would you do if one of them was gay? Are they obedient simply to avoid making you mad? If so, will that truly be enough? Even government agencies on a global scale are getting involved, and they are critical of anyone who does not adopt their warped view. If a group recognizes an ugly behavior or ugly deed as legitimate, you must not expect other countries or other groups to give it the same recognition. Merely approving of unrighteous conduct displeases Jehovah. What should we continue to do? Well, we should kindly and respectfully help others to see Jehovah's view while there is still time. As Jehovah's Witnesses, we hold to the Bible standard on marriage, which is only between a man and a woman. One man and one woman? Exactly! Do you see the connection? The political system must be revamped. One government will rule the entire earth. All human governments will be gone. As one of Jehovah's Witnesses, we believe everyone has a right to choose how they live. They're deserving of death. And I would never force my beliefs on anyone. Again. Really? These things have different ways. The, the, the proper education must be given proper... The education system must be revamped. But now, in practical terms, what might that look like? God's kingdom will sponsor the greatest massive education work. Massive education work. Education work. Education program in all human history. Jehovah is teaching us to benefit ourselves. There will be many others who will come back who will have to abandon their former way of life. It's kind of like going on an airplane. What would happen if someone wanted to bring something on the plane that wasn't allowed? They couldn't go on the trip. Right. It's the same with Jehovah. I was thinking as an example, a homosexual. Now this former homosexual comes back in the resurrection and he really thought 
And he, he was taught and he came to believe that God accepted him with that lifestyle. And he's going to learn that Jehovah will not lower his standard to accommodate us. We have to come up to Jehovah's standard. Jehovah says we have to leave some things behind. That means anything Jehovah doesn't approve of. We must be firmly convinced that these moral standards of Jehovah are right and beneficial. Will he change? Will he adjust? It'll be up to him. You know what? People can change. Straight. But now what if someone refuses to make the necessary changes? We do not hate individuals who practice unrighteousness, nor do we judge them. Again, really? The hour of judgment by him has arrived. The hour of judgment by him has arrived. Those who are resurrected, who make good use of this, this uh, education, well, they will continue on and ultimately receive everlasting life. And live in paradise forever. Contemplate the benefits of obeying God's moral standards and the consequences of disobeying them. But then on the other hand, any who refuse to accept the benefits of that uh, education, they will be judged as worthy of eternal destruction. Well, the Watchtower commented on that. It said, after being given ample time, maybe even a hundred years, to seek God, some will show that they refuse to practice righteousness. Justly, they will lose life in the new world. They're deserving of death. No one will be allowed to cause any ruin in the new world. Those who persist in ruining the earth will not be a part of it. So any who display a wicked attitude during the thousand years will be removed. But I want everyone to get to paradise. It's not a heavy-handed threat to manipulate human behavior. It's your choice. Isn't it exciting to think about what's going to happen in the future? The future is not complicated. Parents with young children should take courage from this fact as they work hard to protect their children from Satan's attempts to ruin their minds and hearts with immoral thoughts and false reasoning. Thankfully, the end is coming quickly. Our young ones, even very young ones, are confronted with these same topics. How will they respond? Are your young ones ready? So, what can you say to Carrie? Well, I could tell her that homosexual acts are unrighteous, detestable, disgraceful, obscene, error, deserving of death. That's awesome! Let's practice. Well, with a clear conscience, we can confidently say that we've not held back in speaking the truth about such matters. Some would disagree. With 6% of all teenage suicides being gay teenage suicides, we certainly don't need the stigmatization, the victimization that leads to the playground bullying when people say you're a disordered, morally evil individual. That's not nice. It isn't nice. Do you know who would be the last person ever to be accepted as a prince of the church? The Galilean carpenter, that Jew. They would kick him out before he tried to cross the threshold. He would be so ill at ease in the church. That simple and remarkable man, if he said the things that he was said to have said, what would he think? At Matthew 23, 28, Jesus said that the Pharisees appeared righteous on the outside, but inside, they were such tools. To what would he think of any of that? He would be horrified.